Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to design a stable multi vibrator using OPAMP where duty cycle is not 50%. You can call it a symmetrical a stable multi vibrator or a symmetrical square wire generator. So we have already covered this case and solved one numerical in the previous video. In this video, we are going to solve numerical for a symmetrical one where duty cycle is not equal to 50%. So before jumping to the question, I will give you a quick summary. First of all, what is the difference between these two circuits? Your feedback loop is replaced with two resistors and two diodes connected in parallel. Okay, so this circuit gives you a 50% duty cycle square wave and this circuit gives you other than 50% duty cycle square wave. Then what are the important equations? So in first case where duty cycle is 50%, your frequency is 1 upon 2 RC. And in another case, your frequency is 1 upon RA plus RB into C. Okay. Time period T was 2 into RC. Now your time period is RA plus RB into C. Okay. In that case, your duty cycle was 50%. Means T on was equal to T off, which is nothing but RC. In this case, your T on and T off are different. T on is given as RA into C and T off is RB into C. Okay. That's why your T is RA plus RB into C. Okay. Here duty cycle was simply T on RC upon 2 RC which is 50% and here duty cycle is T on is nothing but RAC, C will get cancelled and it will become RA upon RA plus B into 100. Okay, so for designing a stable multi vibrator, you will need these equations, please note it down, take a screenshot. If in question duty cycle is given as 50%, you will use these equations. And duty cycle is 40%, 60%, anything other than 50%, then you will use these equations. Okay, now let's jump to the question. Design asymmetrical or stable multi vibrator for frequency 10 kilohertz, duty cycle 60%, and V peak to peak is 20 volt. So, here if asymmetrical word is not mentioned in the question, don't get confused. Just look at duty cycle and decide which equations to use. Okay. So here V peak to peak is given 20 volt. So what does this mean? Your output is oscillating between plus 10 volt and minus 10 volt. Okay. So this plus V sat is nothing but 10 volt. Just divided this 20 volt by 2. Okay. Generally your VCC is 1.5 times greater than your V sat. And same with VE. But to be on safer side, we will take 2 volts more than V sat. So we will take VCC equal to 12 volt and V equal to minus 12 volt. Okay. So these are our input voltages. This is our power supply. Now we have to deal with the frequency and duty cycle. So step one is I noted down frequency over here that is 10 kilohertz. We will find out time period. So just take inverse 1 upon F. It will be 0 0.1 millisecond. Okay. Your time period of output voltage is 0 0.1 millisecond. Now we just have to find out what is T on and T off. Okay. So we know that duty cycle is nothing but T on upon T. Okay. We know duty cycle here and time period. So we can find out T on. So duty cycle is 60. Time period is 0.1 millisecond. Okay. So just rearrange this equation. 100 will go there and this term will become 0 0.6 into this time period. So this T on will become 0 0.06 millisecond. Okay. Now to find out T off, just subtract this T on from time period, you will get T off. So we got T on and T off. Now step 2 is, you should know the formula of T on. Okay, T on is RA into C. Now you know the value of T on and you have to assume the value of C so that you can find out value of resistor. So let's assume C is 0 0.01 microfarad. So I just substituted T on here and value of capacitor which we assumed. So RA will come out as... 6 kilo ohms okay similarly we will find out value of rb t of is rb into c okay so what is t of here 0 0.04 millisecond which we found out and c is 0 0.01 microfarad okay so rb will come out as 4 kilo ohms okay we got values of ra and rb so now we know the values of c ra and rb now we have to find values of r1 and r2 it is very simple you should know this equation r2 is 1.16 times r1 you can watch my previous videos i have derived this equation okay so here we will assume value of r1 1 kilo ohms and r2 will come out as 1.16 kilo ohms okay so we got all the values 
now the last step is you just have to write down all the values here capacitor is 0 0.01 microfarad then ra is 6 kilo ohms rb is 4 kilo ohms r1 is 1 kilo ohms and r2 is 1.16 kilo ohms okay so the last step is you have to draw the diagram circuit diagram and output waveform and if V pick to pick is mentioned in the exam, draw output waveform also. Okay. And you can see here, UT cycle of this waveform is 60%. Okay. This is your whole T 0 0.1 millisecond. And this is your T on 0 0.06 millisecond. And this T off is 0 0.04 millisecond. Okay. So, your duty cycle is 0 0.06 upon 0 0.1, which comes out. 3 upon 5, 60%. So your output waveform is 20 volt peak to peak and 60% duty cycle. So in this way, you have to design a stable multivibrate. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope you are clear with all the steps. If you have liked this video, press the like button, share this whole playlist with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.